Well, hello, everybody. Uh, Tom Boone here with the Outreach Foundation, Associate Director uh, in Pakistan. And I have the delight to be with Reverend Dr. Jenny Kara. Uh, Jenny, tell us just a little bit about where you're coming from. I am here really wearing three hats. One is representing my denomination, the Eco-Presbyterian denomination. I'm also pastor of Cedar Creek Church in Sherwood, Oregon, and as an associate dean and professor at George Fox University. That is the largest private Christian university in Oregon. Well, we're glad you're here. I know you're wearing a lot of hats, but yesterday, before we get into to what we did today, Let's backtrack to yesterday because it's a fog. We just had arrived <laughs> and you accepted, I mean, so wonderfully, you accepted the invitation to preach, which is not a common thing for women to be invited to preach. So I'm really glad that happened. Um, why don't you tell us just a little bit about that? Well, knowing that women don't commonly speak, there's no way that I could have said no. But also, we had just gotten off the airplane, had what, maybe an hour to <laughs> rest know. and grab a bite to eat. So my so ears easy. were still popping. But I preached on finding joy, and really my emphasis was in those darker moments, how do you find joy? Not just circumstantial happiness, but actually locating the joy that the Holy Spirit brings for us. Well, people responded really well to mm. it. Uh, I think we had somewhere close to 400 people there, the colors that were present, and yeah. all the girls that came up to you afterwards. So thanks for doing that. Yeah. Uh, it was really I was really pleased with, with how you were received and, and how you did. You just represented eco really well, but mm -hmm. more than that, you represented the Lord. And um, thanks for doing that. that so was a let's pleasure. let's kind of go through today. So if, if we went to a village. We went to a village that's about two hours drive. It's a Christian village called Martinpur. And in Martinpur, with the Presbyterian Education Board, there is a girls' school, uh, there's a boys' school, and an orphanage. Called the Hope Center, and that Hope Center is run by a German organization, uh, and they are housed within Presbyterian Education Board's Boys School. We encounter, we did a lot. We spent the day with Vita, and and it was a great day. A lot of celebration. Um, it was the 25th. It's the 25th anniversary of what they call denationalization of schools, which is the awakening from the dark ages, basically for Pakistan and education. And so PEB has really been doing great work, and today we started seeing some of the evidence of that. And I'm wondering what, what you might say to that. Um, how do you see God at work, Jenny? There are really two things that I come away, well, more than that, but two primary things. One was a skit. They did several skits for us. Mm -hmm. And do you remember the skit where they were actually acting out a Pakistani family's life? And they had a young boy, young girl, yes. and as they both were reading, the boy was praised for it and carried off to further his education. And the young girl was scolded at first until the PEB school took her over and then raised her up as well. So that really struck me. And the person I was sitting next to who was Pakistani leaned over and said that one always made him cry a little bit, that wow. particular That's skit. Fantastic. That and the act of celebrating. I think just from the moment we got off those buses, they were laying, putting lays on us. They were throwing rose petals. And I think in Western America, we just forget to stop and celebrate things, to Gosh, celebrate how God, to ask the question so you just right asked, yeah. where is God working, and then stop and eat food and have music and just celebrate. Flues, food that has a lot of flies on it. Yes, and, and quite kind of spicy, too. Spicy food, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Jane, for, for that recap. Mm -hmm. And uh, just so glad you're on this team. Yeah. Thanks for being here. It's and a joy. Uh, Y'all will, thanks for listening. We will come back at you tomorrow with another uh, part of our team uh, sharing the day uh, that we'll have with the Presbyterian Education Board. That's a mouthful to say. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks, Jenny. Glad your voice held up. Yes. <laughs> and we will, we'll see you all tomorrow.